Ever since last year or so, after the release of a certain anime known as Interspecies Reviewers, and more etchy anime with borderline scenes have been animated and released, etchy anime is time after time testing the limits of how revealing they can be and how much skin they just can show. That is why for today we will be talking about the top 10 borderline etchy anime. But before we start, I have something special for you guys. This video is sponsored by Aerolabs and their brand new game, Cherry Tail. Cherry Tail is a must-see for fans of the etchy genre of anime, mostly because it is an adult fairy tale JRPG game that gives a new twist to old stories. The game takes familiar characters from classic tales and gives them fresh voices and settings. Follow the story and you'll enter a fantastic and epic realm where humanity is still in disarray after the conflict with the fallen angels. Because it is driven by ambition and greed, and as a result, war erupts frequently between different kingdoms. The steamy scenes come to life with the help of top-notch fan service and awesome voice acting. There is a hidden aspect to each girl just waiting for you to come out. And gents, you may not know this, but this game is also playable on the iOS and Android. We don't pick and choose who receives the arrows, so if you're as excited as I am, check out the game for yourself by visiting the link in the description down below and redeeming your prizes with the code provided. Doing so will assist your boy out while also rewarding you with some good stuff. Now let's get back to the video. Coming in at number 10 is World End Harem. I mean, just by watching the trailer for the show, you guys can already know what kind of anime this is and what the rest of the entrees on this list will be like for that matter. This anime was released with a lot of controversy surrounding it, thanks to all its NSFW content and plot. The human race is at its wit's end, and almost all men were eradicated due to some kind of disease that took them all out. Except for a select few that were already in cryo chambers due to some disease they caught in the past. Now it is their job to repopulate the earth and build up their own harem, like literally, build it back up and have relations with women as much as they can to bring life back to earth. The premise is, uh, it's kind of silly if you think about it, but hey, lots and lots of half girls fawning over these lucky guys. Who can say no to that? Coming in at number 9 is Yosuga no Sora. It's true this is a list about etchy borderline anime with a lot of heated scenes. What was my point again? Oh, however, this doesn't negate the fact that you can have a good script story with a fun, enjoyable plot that always somewhat ends with the main character sleeping with the girls. Mind you, this anime is adapted off of a visual novel with the same name so it has multiple endings and you can end with as many girls as possible. So the anime obviously did the thing, making it so that the story here and there has an ending of the harem style, where he catches them all. Yes, it, it's a Pokemon reference, sue me. However, what makes this anime shine is the fact that there is build-up and allows you to get to know the characters rather than it just being some guy sleeping around with many girls. I mean, sure, he does eventually do that, but it, the, it's not the destination that matters. It's the journey, right? The journey. The journey. Coming in at number 8 is Hybrid Heart Magius Academy Ataraxia. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but these anime names keep getting longer and longer. And also, you are definitely not going to find this anime anywhere on the family-friendly recommended lists. And it's for good reason. This anime, like all the other cliched etchy anime out there, has the main character, not necessarily overpowered, possessing a powerful game-changing skill that everyone requires and has girls fawning over him like bees to a non-pollinated flower. These girls use something called Heart Hybrid Gear, or HHG for short. And this skimpy stripper outfit suit has one fatal flaw that only Kizuna can solve. How you might ask? <laughs> of course. It's by turning them on and making them do lewd actions. I don't have the ability to elaborate on unless I want YouTube to drop the ban hammer on my head. Love you, YouTube. Please don't cancel my videos. So just like every cliche ever, he moves to a school with many, and I mean many, girls. Have fun. Coming in number seven is Queen's Blade. In this nation, the queen is chosen according to the winner of a tournament in a series of battles. Laina Vance is the direct heir of the House of Vance. So she does the next obvious thing, rebel against her father's heritage and join the Queen's Blade tournament in order to become queen. She is the younger sister of the Thundercloud General herself with a strong sense of justice and a lot of naivety. Thanks to those two characteristics, she always seems to bite off more than she can chew and get herself into a lot of shitty situations. With the occasional being fully nude after having her armor torn to pieces scenes, but 
<laughs> Who cares, right? Definitely not us. Coming in number six is Redo of a Healer. Yeah, well, it ain't no surprise that this anime is on here, so... Especially after that first episode debut that destroyed all expectations of this anime being anywhere close to family. And friendly in any sense of a word. And for a good reason. AKA, my rod, or this rod scene. This scene was brutal, but come on. She, she kinda had it coming. She was so brutal with him, and he suffered numerous tortures and abuses physically and sexually while imprisoned by her. He got the chance to redo it all and have his sweet, sweet revenge, building a harem and a reputation for himself, enslaving everyone to his will. And while having a fun time on the side with almost every girl he meets in the series, even the underage Neko girl, which is it's kind of fucked up. I mean, no one can blame him really for his new approach of life. After all, he did live a complete life before drugged, tortured, sexually and physically abused by his party, with them abusing his healing ability even though they knew what its ramifications are on him and its side effect of him suffering the same pain they have while healing him. <sighs> Watching him get his vengeance was one of the most satisfying scenes about this anime. I won't lie. I won't lie. Still fucked up. Coming in number 5, Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. Yeah, the streak continues with the borderline hentai but somehow past the hentai radar anime. I swear, these new anime titles are pushing their luck with all this nudity and these H scenes. They practically showed it all except for a certain part in the middle and just like that, this doesn't make it hentai. Like what? Like all isekai, something goes wrong in the real world and this game he is playing sucks him into it where he is no longer able to log out. Tough luck for him. However, what made things easier for him is the fact that he now possesses a very powerful sword that can practically one-shot anyone. And what will girls love more than an isekai hero with overpowered skills? Clearly, you guys can already put one plus one together and know how this will end out. Coming in number four is Testament of Sister New Devil. This anime, as some people claim, is the spiritual son of high school DxD. An anime that is filled with hot busty girls, neko demons, even cute lollies for that matter, that are all into the main character. And in the case of this series, they are introduced to him as simply his stepsisters. It was later on that things developed further becoming something more than just sibling love. That isn't the only thing that develops though. It is also the fact that he descends from a tribe of heroes, while the other two descend from demon tribes. Not just any demon though, demon royalty. As usual, the demon royalty succubus is being sought out for some sort of rule the demon world arranged marriage and it's up to our hero to protect her, quack her, and save her kingdom. Coming in number three is Kiss x Sis. This anime title practically explains it all and also probably gives you a general idea of just what to expect in just two words. The mother of our protagonist passes away and that's when his father remarries into a family with two daughters, twins at that, they are older than Keita and their first introduction with one another, well, let's just say it wasn't a traditional stepbrother-sister kind of welcome. <laughs> These girls are now having out-of-control incestuous feelings towards their brother and are in an ever-long competition towards the goal of winning him over for themselves. Keita, however, isn't only being targeted by his hot sisters, he is also being targeted by the girls in his class and school, all wanting a piece of him. With all these teenage hormones running amok, things are about to get nasty. Coming in number two is Sekirei. This anime is quite the cliche, yet for some freaking reason, it was engaging enough for me to watch it and actually like and enjoy it for a moment there. Like every cliche harem hentai-ish anime starts, the main character was down for failing his college entry exams like a useless piece of shit for the second time now, only for some girl to magically land in his life and change it forever. And when I say land, I mean it in the literal sense. She literally fell from the sky right into his lap. This guy's useless, pathetic life was about to change in ways he could never even imagine. For starters, he will get to touch girls rather than sit in a dark corner jerking off and watching hentai on his PC. Is that a little too real? As for the second change, well, he inadvertently registered himself in a tournament of life and death called Sekirei Plan. And useless as he is, Musubi and Sekirei was able to recognize the hidden potential he had within him, a gene called Ashikabi, that can unlock the potential and powers of a Sekirei by a kiss. How repetitive and obvious you might say, I agree, yet somehow watching it felt like the first time ever seeing such a lewd powering up method. 
For some reason, this anime isn't actually half bad, and sure, you can't watch it in front of anyone or ever tell them you watched it, but still, it is actually a fun anime to watch, and believe it or not, it's not just about half-naked girls fighting. <laughs> and number one goes to Interspecies Reviewers. In times of war, people fight. And in times of peace, people love to party, have fun, and enjoy their time. What better way to enjoy your time in youth than to go out to brothels and have some <laughs> time with the ladies they're offering their services. However, the men have a problem deciding which brothels are the best. That's when our pervy heroes in Kinkiyamu rose to the role of finding out which brothels are the best out there in the entertainment district. These three heroes are going to go on a long adventure experiencing all these brothels, having intimacy with all these girls and different species, and doing their part to society in rating those brothels and how good or bad of an experience they had in them and why they gave that rating specifically. There will be a lot of diversity in the series starting from boobalicious cowgirls all the way to slime girls and even fairies. Fairies. Mm. There is even one episode where they switch genders and visit the hyena Futus. Futus. Fenaries. <laughs> yes. Mm. One hell of a weird episode even for my tastes. The first season of the show opened up the door for many more anime with the same daring scenes and genres to get animated and kind of started a new era in anime. Allowing ecchi anime to venture forth into territory that was never explored before without being called hentai. With that said, we end this list for today. I hope you all liked the video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. That is why I would ask you to like, share, subscribe, and comment your favorite anime in the list as well as your favorite waifu in that anime. I'm always looking for new waifus to add to my collection. And as always, lads, stay safe. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.